one owner car guy and what I've got here for you today is a really nice two owner 1995 Mercedes-Benz S500 I just love these W140 cars super 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 nice I guess it's likely because this body came out the year I graduated man was this the coolest car in the world in 92 93 and I guess that's probably likely why I'm split on what I think is cooler, W140s or W126s. Um, this two owner car is in great shape. You can see the little gash in the bumper there from the tow job, which wasn't cool. And I'm going to go around and show you any little damage in a minute. I'll go around the car and kind of give you a once around, show you how it looks, give you the once around. Then, like I say, I'll go up close and show you any minor damage, dings, dents pieces like that front piece and man that's all I can think of on it and we'll go for a test drive go up to the house here and show you the innards um, where it's not so sun, sun splotchy having a weird look to it um, I like to do the outsides out here nice bright light kind of get the inside outside up in the shade main purpose of these videos well to show you the damage on the car that I'm showing that is the main purpose. <clears throat> I just want you to see the damage. Um, sure, it looks beautiful. Sure, it's a nice car. But it's an older car and there's something wrong with it and I'm selling it. So, you need to see anything on it and that's what I'm going to do in the next few minutes here. My name's Nathan. It's 406-544-6919. You can reach me anytime. My website is www.oneownercarguy.com. Check that out. I've got about 260 cars. There's about 40, for 40 to 50 on there for sale at any given time. So, that's about your once around. I'll go up close and show you the rest of it. I always start over here on this side. Um, actually, I'm going to start with the underneath. I like to get that out of the way to where I'm showing you everything. That takes a second for my low level light adjustment. Oh, come on. There we go. And you can see it's very nice and clean under here. <clears throat> this piece is missing and I'll show you this while I'm down here. Bam! Just cracked it off and broke that piece across there. Um, easy piece to get. I'm just not putting anything into this one, the ornament. I'm selling it like it is or somebody that wants to drive this thing around. It's a beautiful... Hey! Is that a non-ladybug? A boy bug? I don't know. He likes your car. Chip there where he got broken and let me show you the underneath here big old Euro Tour HRs beautiful car I love these California cars I don't love bacon on the asphalt here it's hot on your bare arm. I'll tell you that right now. This car's nice. Hey, save somebody a flat tire here. Probably me. There we go. It takes a second for my light to get right, but I do like to show this part of it. Little tiny stress marks there. And we'll just start here since it's where we are. The 500 is likely my favorite of all these W140s. A little scratch there, and a little scratch there, and a little chip right there. Why the W1? Why the 500? Well, you can get 25 miles a gallon on the highway. A little scuff. And not only that, God, they got a lot of power. And I wouldn't give that up for a 320. It's just not the same. Now door dings and stuff. Don't think there's much of anything. There's a ding there. There's a little bit of water or something on it there. Water spot. There's a tiny ding there, I think. It's straight as can be. A little chip along the mirror. He must have brushed it on something. A little chip right here. Scratch, whatever you want. This guy's called me all day. 
Hello, I'm taking a video right now. Be about 10, 15 minutes. If you want to call me back, I'll be done here. Okay, I'll be around. Okay, sir, I'll try and call you when I'm done, too. Bye. A little scuff there. I'm telling you, I got to catch these calls. I'm sorry. I don't want to miss them. The guy's tried to catch me three times. Little chips. And I missed him. Little chips. I was on the phone to Netherlands one time selling a E300. And then the next time he called, I was filming the other, the Volvo video. And then the next time he called, here, here I am. And I got a text in between. So if you call, I'm not ignoring your call. Just staying busy, darn it. A couple little teeny chips right there. And just, that's, you're not going to even hardly see them. A couple cracks in the windshield, and you'll see them from inside. Um, this here. Cracks in the paint. And right there. Very small, very hard to notice. But it's there. So, I want you to see it. There's a ding right here. Small ding. Paintless ding removal guy would be the way to go. Some of that, if you even mess with it. A couple little chips. Absolutely straight chip here. You know, you get a car like this that is a two owner. Well, the guy's going to have cared for it a lot better than some seven, eight, nine owner car. Wheel wells are beautiful. Um, like I say, these tires, little titties all over the side. And I hope you can hear me with that wind. Good tread on them. There's a, you know what? That's a Falcon. Big old Euro tours And the big old ones are a little newer, I think. Okay. Nathan. 406-544-6919. And I hope the wind ain't killing this. That's about all I can think of. I'm going to go ahead and take off on the road trip here. Road trip! I put up some videos of the road trip from San Diego to Montana. Some unique territory on there. You can see some unique land. Utah, Arizona, Idaho, you name it. Um, this is one slick car. I hope that's my thumbnail. Sure would be pretty. Um, check out my channel. Lots of other W140s on there. I do 10, 15 of these a year. I've got eight or nine W126s right now and lots of other Mercedes. Probably about 40 of them in stock or so. Out of 260 or so cars, um, I'm thinking it's closer to 50 Mercedes. But anyways, lots of classic Euro 1 and 2 owner classic cars, sometimes 3, and the occasional project. Um, www.oneownercarguy.com Nathan, call anytime. And that's about the outside. Let's go show you the inside. Well, the test drive, should I say. This car is a steel. Um, I do them in lots of different shapes and colors and sizes, I guess you'd say. Um, sometimes they're absolutely perfect. I've sold them with as little as 40-something thousand miles. The Volvo I just did um, actually has 16,000 miles. Switchblade key. Radio works and all. Now sometimes that SRS light comes on. Sometimes it doesn't. Um, I had to take a fuse out because the clock spring in the steering wheel. Um, and when you turn the wheel, it would honk. Now it don't honk because I took that out. AC's cold. And we're gonna head on down the road. Right to 40, just like right now. I mean, there's no room for any anything. It's just boom, there you are. Uh, it's a warm day, that way. Up shifts, down shifts beautifully. I love these cars, ride nice, just the ultimate road car. I've been going a little farther on my test drives down to here. Heck, one of them I took it on the freeway to my other lot. Um, oh, buddy. And I like
like a 600. I do. I love the 600s. I've had a lot of them. Um, I worry about them more. I worry that I'm the one that's going to break it. I don't know why. And parts are a little less plentiful. These 500s... That's 40 and you got to let off the pedal before. Right at the switches there, buddy. So, sweet driving car. Um, we'll go up here and show you the interior. Um, trying to think of anything else I can tell you about it. There's the cracks I wanted to show you. Got this tied around my hand. It's pretty stable, but I'd rather show you at the house there. Like crazy. 36,000 mile Lincoln Mark 8. 86560 SL. S80 Volvo. I'm telling you, man, I got some sweet cars here for sale. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. Um, check out that website. You'll just be amazed at the cool, clean one and two owner cars, trucks, SUVs, and such on there. See what I mean? The SRS light just goes out. Uh, it stays on for like the first minute. Uh, check engine light is on. And I had a new guy start working for me. He didn't last long. But the first thing he asked me, well, just unplug the battery and leave it unhooked and that'll go right out. Well, yeah, but then you're not going to see what's wrong with the car. And that ain't, that just ain't my style. Here's your auto check history, and you'll see it is two owner. Scored a 75 out of a 15 to 36. Um, so more than twice the, twice the, the high score. I mean, it's got a high, high score. So that's that. Put that on the here to where I can show you the. Well, I'm taking it with me to where I can show you the rest of the car and not have that in there blocking your view. Okay, door panels. Beautiful. Well, my camera died there, so we'll start this up again. Sunroof works fine, by the way. And I will leave it open to where I can do these pictures and maybe get a little bit extra light in here. Big idea there, huh? Um, I love these cars. Just the way they sound, the way they feel. The whole deal. And that's one thing about these. You get a one or two owner, and it works with the push up or push uh, auto up or non auto up. I guess you should, I should say. I love the dark barrel wood in it. I guess you'd call it mahogany or something. I don't know. Uh, Zabaro or Zabrano. I don't remember what it was. One sixty six two twenty two. Oh yeah, the stereo is fine. Uh, AC is fine. The heated seats are fine, and the middle mirror works. Um, the adjustment needs a new knob for the side mirrors. Um, it spins without selecting. So it's fine for that one, um, but you need a new switch there. Um, oh, the seats. Let's leave that on for one more second. Back, forward, up, down, front, up, down, center, up, down, rear, and this one. this one. That's where you really get it with these one and two owner cars where 
of nowhere. You know, they maintain them. And I you want everybody to see that it's beautiful under there. That's all there is to it. There's light shining. I like to block that and you don't see it like that. Okay. Up in the front, down in the front, up in the back, down in the back, back, forward, back, forward, up, down, up, up, down regular. I think that one's just pushed a little bit farther, farther differently adjusted. I'll check right now. That's a rare option right there to have working. Um, most of the time, I couldn't figure out why it was still humming. It was that bad 450 S SEL coming. I'll tell you that right now. Okay. Now I've done all that, I can turn this off. Look at the dash with that chocolate steering wheel, baby. Seats look beautiful. We're on the back one here. Tent on the back window, and it's kind of coming up right there. Right there. Door panels are in great shape. Oh, yeah. I took it out, but the back reclines and has heated also. Medical is gone. I think it's stolen at the auctions a lot. Right there. This could be popped off and have that put back down over there. Real nicely. We might have took him out to install something. Yeah, that's just cocked because he had it adjusted differently. Whoever was sitting there. Back seats look beautiful. Might have said that. Show you in the trunk. And as you see, the handle pops out perfectly there. Almost slam it on my finger. Actually, did slam it on my finger a little bit. This changer and such. Let's get this up for you. Look at this. Michelin Energy MXV4. I think the entire who hits her? I don't know what that one is. Huh, that's cool. Okay, great shape. Trunk is in great shape. Top and bottom. And that works. And the automatic suck down sucks down. Ooh, let me show you this. Yeah, of course, I shut it too hard. Auto shut on the doors works. Beautiful car, two owner, well maintained. And you know a one and two owner person cares for their car. Do these not work without the key in? A lot better than a, a seventh owner or eighth owner. And you know they paid a lot more too. Okay, let's see. Yes, they work fine with that. Oh, it's missing that uh, cover. This side is not. 
However, that is a very common issue in these to stop doing that. This was the back one, I believe. Okay. Here's your cracks closer up with all of our garage stuff unorganized in the back there. This car's in great shape. It's extremely cheap. Good deal. Call me anytime. It's Nathan. 406-544-6919. Reach me absolutely anytime. Great shape, all the wood and everything. Yeah, my feet on there. A little something right there. Scratch, let's call it. Okay, let me hang this around my neck here. There we go. Come on now. Beautiful. Let me show you the front of the motor. Just the way it should be. You know, I don't know. The clear coat they put on them burns off. And you could actually sit there if you want and just clean it all off. And I think a lot of people do. And you could use a little something too. And see, I just took a little piece off right there. Looks a lot better. But once that clear coat burns off, that's just what they do on all Mercedes motors like this. Uh, pff, runs great, drives great. Even the hood insulation up top looks great. www.oneownercarguy.com It's had a new water pump put on. You can see gasket jizz in there and such. So that's good. Man, I can't think of nothing else to show you on this bad boy. So, I'm going to go ahead and hop in here. Get it back outside. little chip right there. Um, and that is that. Where did I put the key? In my pocket. I love this chocolate wheel. I mean, it's just... You know what? A little bit of wear on it, you can see there. Yeah, I try and show anything and everything I can come up with on these. There we go. Oh, I wanted to show you one more thing here. I want to go ahead and pop this for the heck of it, too. Look at this. Little gouge right there. And I showed you that little piece. And it just shakes teeny bit. See, that's why I don't do the interior outside. Cuts on all the shadows. Small little chip right there. But like this, I don't know if the this correctly under the hood will be okay in this particular setting might be better we'll see yeah you can see the front a lot better just depends on the car and how much lights coming in and what time of day and all that stuff I just hate how you get the difference out here shadows makes it look Hiding something or something, and I'm not. Beautiful car. Two owner. Nathan. 406. Hang on now. That piece right there. 
they are supposed to go in a, a little bit better than that. And it ain't in there. Hard to tell. I just now noticed it. Nathan, 406-544-6919. Reach me absolutely anytime. www.oneownercarguy.com You can go on there absolutely anytime and see 40 to 60 classic Euro, muscle, low mile, one or two owners, sometimes three. And, you know, the occasional project. And other than that, I can't think of anything else to show you on this car. I went around it a couple times here. It's absolutely beautiful. Everything about it is just as you'd like, and the price on it, you're not going to beat. That just because they're a one or two owner don't mean you're never going to replace something. You could blow a hose the day you buy it. Radiator hose, $7.88 or something. I don't know. Right now we've been driving this thing around. It runs and drives great. And you ain't going to find a better S500 for the money. That's all there is to it. And like I say, I do lots of them. So give me a call. I probably have another couple in stock. Nathan, 406 544 69 one nine and that's you calling right now how did you do it before it got all the numbers out and man that's all i can think of thanks for watching have a great day or night import export we'll ship it to your port any port in the entire world no problem we'll get it there and many many more mercedes coming up so check out my other videos um there's over 715 of them on here and make sure and call anytime we'll talk to you one owner car guy dot com. Bye.